Hi and welcome. If you're looking to teach your kids programming or coding, I'm gonna walk you through like really few 10 simple tools and uh, softwares or programs to use where your kids can learn how to code. And uh, most of them are free and let's walk through the but first and most important one that you can try is Scratch. It's completely free. It's by MIT and you can it's a um, it's something that you can use for ages four onwards too so it's it's kind of a drop a drag and drop interface and you can kids can learn to make games and uh, stories and animations and then also share it with other um with uh, on the community and with friends so it's very simple to get started with scratch there is scratch and scratch junior so all you need to do is just sign up sign up for it join scratch and then everything is uh, done online on this um, web so it's very easy um so this is one of the uh, coding platforms to try so you might hear this more often than any of the others so it's very all you have to do is um, drag and drop and you if you're planning to teach your kids programming this is nice way to do it for example you could just create it you just have to log in and then um, here is an interface as you can see um, I'll go more in detail about how this works but the idea is that you would drag and drop like uh, things and then when you hit the start button uh, these are called uh, sprites and they do uh, take the actions that are uh, that is coded over here so and uh, we can go more in detail but all I want to show you here is it's very drag and drop interface so even if your kids don't know how to spell they can just say turn 15 degrees or very simple commands um, much more simple control commands are there right that they can learn if else statements and wait statements and stuff like that the next one i want to go through is something called codable it's also real code real fun um, it has been used a lot by in elementary schools and it's also um, very fun to try it out so this is the second one this um, you can try this and the next one I want to say is code.org. Code.org is really good. Um, I highly recommend it. They do have um, lots of free things online to try and learn to code. There's something called Hour of Code. They always have an Hour of Code in, uh, in December of every year. And if your kids can participate in that, you get a certificate. You can get print a certificate and share. Um, so I highly recommend. This is very nice. This is, again, just like Scratch drag and drop and then there are many more options also in this um the other one is minecraft if you haven't tried or heard of minecraft of course your kids can try minecraft uh, most of the time when you think of minecraft you think it's a game but uh, through the game there are a lot of things the kids can learn so it is a game of survival surviving in this new land and finding resources building creative things crafting things uh you know and um learning to survive and uh, they learn a lot like you know they learn and there is also a programming element to minecraft where you can uh, call uh, minecraft modding so that's where the programming part comes but kids love minecraft it is um, there is an educational version that is free to try so you actually don't have to um, buy for it if you just sign up through the education uh, site and then there is the a game a board game called robot turtle you can buy that that's an easy one that just shows you to turn left and right and uh, teaches kids uh, again the basics of programming which is like doing things incrementally and step by step another one i would recommend is code combat um, it's also a great resource to try it out um, so there is a lot of things if you just go to com code combat com you'll see it and then there is tinker um, if you are interested in trying out Tinker, you can go to the site tinker.com and try that one. And lastly, I would say is the Lego Mindstorm programming, um, which is uh, you have to buy this kit and then you can use Scratch to make the robot um, go left or right and basically do a lot of things, racing and activities and all this. But this is the kit, like the next step would be to invest in something like this and then do programming through this. Um, use this for programming so but the most um, basic one that you can really start and do with no investment with nothing needed is scratch you should definitely get your kids started with scratch so but once they have done scratch and they want to try more you can try go into some of the other options i mentioned but scratch i highly recommend anybody can get started 
and you as a parent or if you're interested you can always teach anybody to code using scratch so yeah those are a few of my resources i wanted to share today hope you uh, like this video and uh, for more content about teaching kids to code please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching